emergency. Would you be able to come to the hospital right now? The hospital? Why do I need to go there? I just got transported here by the ambulance. The ambulance? You were in an ambulance? Yes, that's what I just said. You're not serious, right? Stop with the stupid jokes. I didn't think that you were the kind of person that would joke about something so serious. This isn't a joke. Why would you think I would lie to you about this? What? So you're really in the hospital right now? This wasn't a lie? That's what I've been telling you this whole time. I want you to come see me. I'm really scared and worried. Sorry, but I'm not going to be able to make it. I already drank a couple of beers earlier, so I'm not able to drive anymore. What is wrong with you? I got taken to the hospital in an ambulance. You should be trying to get here in any way possible. Why don't you call a taxi? Why should I do that? Do I go into the hospital to actually do anything? I don't know how to fix someone. Let the doctors do that for you. Do you not have enough money or something? Are you serious? You're really trying to make up excuses not to come? I was just asking you if you couldn't come home because you couldn't pay the bills. Oh, I see. I guess there's some misunderstandings between us. I didn't explain the situation well enough, so I'm sorry about that. What even happened? Well, I fell down some stairs and I ended up falling in a really bad way. They decided to take me to the emergency room to make sure everything was okay. You fell? What the hell are we going to do about the family vacation we were meant to go on tomorrow? That's what concerns you the most? Are you not worried about me at all? I thought they took you to the hospital just as a precaution. You're fine, right? I mean, you seem to be completely fine texting me, so it can't be that bad. I can't believe this. Anyway, I won't be able to go on vacation from tomorrow, so we should probably cancel what we can. Would you please hurry up and come to the hospital and help me fill in all the paperwork? Are you serious? I was so looking forward to this vacation for so long. We can go on vacation again when I get better. So, would you please come and help me out? Do I really have to go all the way to the hospital at this time of day? Why are you doing such stupid things like injuring yourself? Well, I'm sorry, but I didn't mean to injure myself. Anyway, I don't need to be arguing with you right now. I just need you to come and help me fill in the paperwork. Also, I would like some of my comfortable clothes to wear here. Fine, fine. If you're going to be this persistent, I guess I'll go. I'm sorry for causing you all this trouble. Actually, I packed a bag for the vacation. So would you be able to bring that with you? Everything that I need is inside the bag. Hey, what are you doing? I can't be admitted into the main hospital if the paperwork isn't complete. What are you talking about? Why can't you be admitted? I'm being made to wait in the emergency room. They told me that I need a family member here with me for approval and to fill in the paperwork. What kind of hospital is that? Surely there's a lot of people that don't have any family that can come to help them out. Well, that's probably the case. But I told the people here that my husband would be coming soon and that he would help me out with the paperwork. If that's the case, could you tell him that he had something come up and that he won't be able to make it? You can fill in the paperwork yourself and get admitted to the main hospital. Wait, what? Are you not coming? Yeah, I checked with the travel company where we made the bookings for our vacation and they said that it's not possible to cancel on the day before the trip. They said that I would still have to pay the full fee. Yeah, and so what? Isn't it kind of obvious? Do you not understand what I'm saying? Are you saying that you're going to abandon me and go on vacation without me? Hey, don't be so dramatic about it. If you were seriously sick or injured, I wouldn't go, but... But what? What are you trying to say? Well, you know, I don't really know how to say this. Just say it. What is it? 
the reason you're at the hospital is completely your fault, right? You were being clumsy and injured yourself a little. Well, I guess it was my fault, but it might be pretty serious. See? Even you're admitting that it was your own fault. I was looking forward to this vacation for a long time. You knew that I was looking forward to this too. I was also looking forward to this vacation too. It's not like I want to cancel it. Yeah, I know about that too. Unfortunately, you're not able to go, but it seems like your injury isn't serious at all. You seem to be pretty energetic texting me right now. I'm still going to have to stay at the hospital for a while. Are you not even going to come to the hospital to listen to what the doctors say? Why would I need to do that? You've heard directly from the doctors, right? Yeah, they told me that I fell in a bad way and that it might be more serious than they originally thought. I have to get some more detailed tests tomorrow to try to assess how serious the damage to my body is. That's going to be completely fine. Don't worry about it. If something serious comes up, then you can contact me whenever you want. Are you seriously planning on going on the vacation without me? Well, we're going to have to pay the fill fee regardless of if we go or not. It's stupid if I don't go and just pay the money. My mom said that she would be happy to come with me to your place. Are you serious? She's going instead of me? She told me that she really wanted to come with us, but was too scared to ask if she could tag along. You're okay with this, right? It's your fault that she can't come after all. Did you tell her the reason why I'm unable to go on the vacation? Yeah, I told her. I thought that she would be worried if I didn't tell her the reason you didn't come. Was she not worried about the fact that I'm in the hospital? Not at all, actually. She sounded so relieved that she thought we had gotten a divorce or something. What is wrong with you both? So you're telling me that she's excited to go on this vacation too? She's not worried about me at all? Of course, she's excited. She even said that she'd pay for some of the expenses of the trip. Isn't that perfect? You can put some of that money towards your hospital bill. Fine, I've had enough. You guys go and enjoy your vacation. Great! Do you finally see how this is good for everyone involved? Oh no! It's so late already. I didn't realize the time at all. I've got to get up early tomorrow, so I'm going to go to bed now. Yeah, whatever. You guys go and enjoy your vacation. We will, for sure. I hope you get admitted to the main hospital soon. Make sure you rest well. We just arrived here safely. The weather here is amazing today. Isn't this view so beautiful? I am so glad that I managed to come. You're really missing out. Hey, are you mad at me or something? I found some great places in this area, so I'll show you around sometime. I really love this area, so let's come here together on vacation next time. Would you stop being mad now? I promise that you'll love this place too. It sounds like you're having a great time. I take it that your mom is also having a great time too? You finally decided to reply. What's with that aggressive tone? Are you trying to hint that you're mad or something? I'm not mad at all. What are you talking about? I've already calmed down and I'm just disappointed in you. Well, I'm glad you've calmed down a little. I think you are being way too dramatic about all this. Although, I can still feel that you're a little angry. So, when are you guys planning to come back from your vacation? Are you seriously asking me that? Did you hit your head when you fell or something? We planned this vacation together. We're coming back the day after tomorrow. The day after tomorrow? Okay, got it. Oh yeah, I was going to ask you something. If you're out of the hospital by then, would you be able to come and pick us up from the airport? We've bought so many souvenirs, so our luggage is so much heavier than before we came here. Well, that's great to hear. Are there some of the souvenirs for my family too? Yeah, I got plenty of stuff for your family too. I even bought something pretty expensive for your dad. 
I don't think I ever told you this, but I have a secret plan. And what did you just say? A secret plan? Yeah, it's a really great idea. I plan to become a better man than your brother and succeed in your dad's company. Are you serious? You're planning to become the next CEO of his company? Yeah, pretty much. You can tell anyone this, but I think I'm more worthy to become the next CEO. That's when I bought a really nice gift for him to try to sway the narrative into my favor. I see. That's great to hear. Oh my god! What's the matter? Are you okay? The ribeye steak that I ordered just arrived. It's huge! Looks like you're really having a great time while I struggle in the hospital. Struggle? Isn't that a little over the top? Either way, I'm really glad that I managed to bring my mom here and managed to treat her to all this amazing food. This is all thanks to you. I'm also glad that I got to get married to the daughter of the CEO of a huge company. Well, good for you. You really need to cheer up. Stop acting like you're really struggling. I'm sure everything is going to be fine. Anyway, I want to eat my dinner now, so I'm putting my phone down. Talk to you later. How are you feeling today? Feeling better now? You must be out of the hospital by now, right? What did you just say? Are you serious? I thought I asked you to come pick me up at the airport if you were out of the hospital. We're about to get on our flight home now, so that's why I texted you. I wanted to check if I needed to find a way home from the airport or not. Wait, have you not heard anything from my parents? Heard what? Were they supposed to tell me something? On the night I got taken to the hospital, my conditionally suddenly got really bad and I became unconscious. Wait, what? I was taken straight into surgery and was in the ICU after that. I finally returned to the general ward today, as my life was no longer in danger. I did not expect to hear that. Are you serious? I thought we were texting each other on that first day. Who was I texting if you were unconscious then? A ghost? A ghost? What are you talking about? Have you forgotten? Go back and look at our text history. We were texting on that day you went to the hospital. I don't really remember that. We were texting each other? I'll check right now. Did you check? That's proof that we texted, right? Oh, yeah. I guess that there are some text messages. So you weren't unconscious then? The thing is, I wasn't the one that sent these texts to you. What are you talking about? Who is it then? I think that this was my mom pretending to be me. What? Why would you do such a thing? I'm not sure, but this isn't the way that I talk or text to people. You should know that. These are all phrases and sentences that I wouldn't really say. What the hell is going on? Actually, hold on a minute. I've got to catch my flight soon or I'm going to miss it. Once I land, I'll head to the hospital straight away. So wait for me there. So, I got to the hospital, but I was told to leave by your dad. He seemed to be really mad at me. I just came home because I didn't know what to do. Also, most of the things inside our house are gone. Do you know what happened here? I guess they really went through with it. What are you talking about? Apparently, while I was knocked out due to anesthetics, I kept mumbling that I wanted to get a divorce. I couldn't remember mumbling it, but all the nurses told me the same thing. Well, that's kind of weird. You don't really want to get a divorce though, right? I'm not sure anymore, actually. It all happened while I was passed out, and I don't remember any of the thoughts that I had in my dream. Well, you were in surgery, so I'm not surprised by that. Now that you're awake, you're not having thoughts about getting a divorce, are you? Actually, I'm still unsure about how I feel. The one thing that I do know for sure is that I never want to have to see your face again. To make sure of that, 
I think that we're going to have to think about getting a divorce. Are you serious about this? I realize that the people who really care about me are my mom and dad. They're my real family. What are you talking about? I'm your family as well, right? I don't know about that. My real family were by my side when I finally woke up. I realized that they actually love and care for me a lot more than you do. I heard that you weren't even close to the hospital when I finally woke up. Well, that's not my fault, is it? I didn't know that your injury was so serious. If I knew how serious it was, then I never would have gone on vacation in the first place. I would have stayed by your side the entire time. I actually don't really mind that you went on vacation at all. You took your precious family with you and made sure that she had a great time. I actually think that it's great that you care about your family so much. Hey, stop talking as if I'm not your family. Even my mom came to the hospital with me when we visited earlier. Even now, she's really worried about you. We're all one huge family and we all care for each other, right? Are you sure that she's worried about me? I think she might just be worried about you and the situation you've got yourself in. I don't think she's that kind of person. Well, it doesn't matter how you guys feel anymore. I no longer have any feelings towards you after what happened. Even my mom texted you that she's not mad anymore and that she's just disappointed in you. Well, what's going to happen to my job then? What did you just say? Even if you were to get divorced, I would still keep my job, right? Let me know what's going to happen. Obviously, it's a very important part of my life. Your job has nothing to do with me. So I'll let my dad make all the decisions. You work for his company, after all. If you're a valuable employee, then I'm sure that he would keep letting you work for him, regardless of the situation. Please, would you tell him to keep letting me work there? I don't have any qualifications or previous job experiences, so I wouldn't be able to find another job that pays this well. I really love working here, so convince him to let me stay. What? Are you really sure about this? What are you talking about? He just told me that you're fired. No way! I can't believe it! Unfortunately, He's saying that you're pretty useless at work, and he's glad that he has a reason to fire you now. I can't believe this. What the hell am I supposed to do now? How could he say that I'm useless after all the hard work that I did? Well, apparently it's the truth, and all your co-workers thought the same thing. Why did this even have to happen? I lost my job because you did something clumsy and injured yourself? This is all your fault, you know. Don't be so aggressive. It's not like I intentionally got myself hurt. It was a mistake, and I struggled a lot because of it. I don't need you to tell me it's my fault. Also, I had no idea that it was so serious. I didn't get told that you were unconscious for such a long period of time. It's not my fault that you didn't tell me. If I knew, I would have gone to the hospital immediately. Stop trying to make me look bad when you were the one that caused this problem in the first place. I'm not trying to make you look bad. You did that all by yourself. I didn't know that you were such a nasty person. Yeah, go ahead and call me whatever you want. I really don't care what you say anymore. You were being an idiot and fell down a flight of stairs? All I did was go on vacation that I had already planned on going on. I literally did nothing wrong. Why is your family treating me like I committed a crime or something? Are you seriously saying that you did nothing wrong? Of course I'm serious. I did not do anything bad, and I definitely shouldn't be getting fired. Even my mom is really angry with how I'm being treated. She's getting angry as well? Isn't she on your side about this? Yeah, of course she is. She told me that I should cut all ties with you and your family. I haven't seen her get this mad in a long time. Well, I'm glad both our families feel the same way. I'm not going to let you guys get away with this for free though. I'm going to file a complaint for wrongful termination. There is no way I should be getting fired for something like this. 
I'm also going to sue your clumsy butt, so be prepared to pay up. Okay, I'm really sorry about everything that I did. After I thought about it, I realized that the actions that I took were unacceptable. Moana, please accept my apology. I'm sorry, but who is this? Come on, I'm really sorry. Please, would you be able to give me one more chance? I can make things right this time. I promise that I will treat you better. Stop trying to ask for forgiveness just because you lost the court case. Your termination was perfectly justified. Don't come back begging for help just because you lost. I'm sorry for doing that as well. My mom told me to sue the company for wrongful termination. It's not something that I wanted to do. So gross. You're blaming this on your mom? How about you try taking responsibility for what you did for once? What are you talking about? I always take responsibility. Anyway, enough about that. I decided that I don't want to get a divorce anymore. So would we be able to talk? Let's try to fix this and get back together. No, thank you. I'm still very intent on getting the divorce. Let's try to get the paperwork done as soon as possible and get this over with. So you still want to get a divorce then? Yeah, I do. I told you that I never want to have to see your face again. I also don't really ever want to have to talk to you ever again. So I've decided to ask a divorce lawyer for help, as you seem to be very stubborn about this divorce. I made sure to get the best lawyer in the city, so you better be prepared. I'm sure that he'll get in touch with you very soon. You got a lawyer? Did you really have to take things so far? One more thing. You're going to be paying for child support and tuition fees in the near future. What are you talking about? Child support? Why would I pay you that? I actually found out that I was pregnant while I was in the hospital. You're going to be a dad. You better be prepared to pay at least half of the cost of raising a child. It's your legal obligation. Anyway, my lawyer should give you all the details. I'm planning to raise our child by myself, by the way. If you want to oppose me, then fine. But I'd recommend that you get a lawyer as well. So I'm going to be a dad now? We're finally going to become a family? If that's the case, then let's get back together and raise the child together. I'm begging you to forgive me. Just shut up. I told you that we're not getting back together. I don't want to talk to you or see you ever again. From now on, make sure you don't contact me directly. If you do, I'm going to block your number and remove you from all my social media. Please, talk to my lawyer if you have anything to say to me. Wait! Please, don't do this to me! You can't just abandon me like this! <coughs> Moana, I'm begging you to forgive me! Please, try to rethink this! I want to raise our child together! He ended up refusing to get divorced, so things got pretty complicated. He went to talk to my dad and begged him for forgiveness. However, he was completely ignored and kicked out. The next day, he visited my dad's company and started to ask around for my location. I guess he was really desperate to talk to me face to face. He was told to leave, but he wouldn't listen at all. He ended up having to be escorted out by some police that were called to the company. Three months later, we all went to court for our divorce case. His appearance was greatly changed in the couple of months that I had not seen him. He looked like a homeless person, and I actually felt a little sorry for him. However, once I heard him talk, I got taken back to reality and was back to hating him. The child in my belly has been growing steadily and all the checkups by the doctor have been going smoothly. I am very excited for the day I finally give birth to him. If I hadn't fallen down the flight of stairs that day, 
I might have been excited for the day I finally gave birth to him. If I hadn't fallen down the flight of stairs that day, I might never have found out what kind of person he really was. Although it was very painful and rough for me, I'm actually kind of glad that it happened. It would have been so much worse for me if I had unknowingly stayed married to that guy.